Fall 2020 Professional Learning Series, where we're going to overview our first module on a comprehensive balanced system of assessment. My name is Carrie McDaniel, and I'm joined today by Misty Higgins. We are both professional learning coordinators in the Division of Program Standards Office of Teaching and Learning at the Kentucky Department of Education. So last year we had a focus on the same two essential questions around our 2019-2020 school year professional learning series. And this year we are going to be switching our focus. So our new essential questions are going to be what resources are available to support Kentucky educators in creating and implementing a comprehensive balanced system assessment system aligned to the Kentucky academic standards? And how might schools and districts utilize the formative assessment process to help students meet the expectations of the Kentucky academic standards? So just to review, last year we looked at systems and structures to support standards implementation. This year, our focus will be that balanced assessment piece, and then next year we'll be moving into instructional best practice. So why should we focus on balanced assessment? We know how critical it is to use evidence gathered from different types of assessment accurately and effectively to improve student learning because students um, utilize so many different types of assessments. So really thinking about what's the purpose of each one of those and how can we use those in a way in which it's meant to be utilized, really using that evidence. And then it's also important that we use the formative assessment process of eliciting, interpreting, and acting on evidence of student learning. We know from research that when we use the formative process, assessment process intentionally in our classrooms, we see positive impact on student learning. So it's really about that acceleration piece of student learning. And then at the end of the day, it's necessary for us to really make adjustments to close the gap between students' current level of understanding and the intended learning outcomes aligned to the Kentucky academic standards. Last year, we spent a lot of time really digging in and getting to know those standards and what the standards were asking students to know and be able to do. And so this year, we're taking a closer look at assessment so we will know if they've learned it so that we can make those necessary adjustments. And so this is our fall professional learning series. You can see it's going to consist of four modules and the topics are listed there for you along with the dates. Those are the dates that those will actually um, become available to you on kystandards.org. So if you subscribe to the newsletter, you'll receive an email telling you when those mod modules are available as well. And um, these are the four modules we will be releasing. You can see the start. We, they kind of start with that broader picture with comprehensive balanced system of assessment and then get into more detail with eliciting and acting on evidence next semester. So now let's talk quickly about how you're going to access these modules as they come out in the fall. So like she said, module one will now be available on KY standards and it is focusing on a comprehensive balanced system of assessment. So once again, starting with the broad picture understanding of assessment and then later on we begin to take a deeper dive into formative assessment as we move throughout this um, semester. But for module one, what we want participants walking away with is that we want you to understand the characteristics of a comprehensive balanced assessment system. So really, what do we mean by those terms comprehensive and balanced? We also want you to understand the purpose and appropriate use of different types of assessment so that we can ensure that the evidence they elicit that we are using that evidence in a way it was intended to be used. And then finally, that you understand the elements of the cycle of assessment. So looking at it from different grain sizes at the classroom level all the way up to that district and state level and how all of those pieces uh, work together to create a cycle of assessment. 
the success criteria for the module. So when you complete the module, we want you to be able to evaluate different types of assessment that you currently use in your classroom, in your school, or in your district, and be able to identify appropriate use of the student evidence that each of those would elicit. And then that you can take your learning from this module and really use that to help build understanding in our parents and students so that they can describe the purpose of the different assessment tools and strategies that would be utilized with their students. So when you look at the module, it contains two different sessions. Session one is the professional learning. So that's where we're going to really build your background knowledge, give you that content understanding. And then session two is the teacher collaboration activity. So where you have the opportunity to apply your learning from session one. We strongly recommend that as you're completing this, that you're doing it in a group with other teachers and leaders, whether that's in a PLC, a grade level meeting, or whether that's with a faculty. But there are multiple opportunities built throughout both sessions of the modules for interaction, collaboration, and professional dialogue. So again, strongly recommend that you work with other teachers in completing this module. Each session within the module is designed to take approximately one hour. Um, so all said the module would take two hours to complete both sessions. This is just a quick overview of session one. We provide you with an agenda. There are some recommended times of how long you might want to spend in each section. Um, notice here, this is going to show you again those main topics that we're going to cover in the prof or professional learning session. So looking again at what is a comprehensive balanced assessment system, what are the types and purposes of the different assessments. So it's really going to look at four assessment types and dig deep into what the intended purpose would be of each of those types of assessment. And then finally, that cycle of assessment, looking at the different grain sizes from the classroom up to that um, the district and state assessment. In session two, that's the teacher collaboration activity, the chance to apply your learning, and you will see that there are two parts to what we are calling an, an assessment landscape activity. So working with other teachers, you would really begin to identify assessment tools and strategies that are being used in your classroom, your school or your district. And then once you've really identified those tools and strategies, looking at the type of evidence they elicit and the way in which that evidence is being used. And then part two, is then once you've completed part one, kind of reflecting on the assessment landscape for your school or district to see how is that aligning with this idea of a comprehensive balanced assessment system, as well as are there areas where maybe we're missing something or are there even assessment tools and strategies that we're maybe not even necessarily sure of how that evidence is being used. So it just allows you to kind of reflect on that landscape for your school or district. So in thinking about the resources that you will have available to you in this module, included are a facilitator's guide. And just to let you know, you do not have to be an expert on this content in order to facilitate these sessions. We've provided all of the questions, all of the materials that you'll need, as well as the steps you'll need to take in order to facilitate participants through this particular module. Also included is a PowerPoint presentation and links to additional resources and handouts. So those are just going to be some additional articles that will help build background knowledge or support you throughout the collaboration activities. And then there will also be a family's guide to understanding student assessment, which will be a helpful tool to share with parents, um, which also includes a brief description of each assessment type and then some questions that you can ask your child and your child's teacher as well. One of the things we're really excited about in this module is that we're trying to be very considerate of all stakeholders. So not just our teachers and leaders, but how can we communicate this understanding of assessment um, to our families as well? And so this is just an example of what the family guide will look like. You'll notice that it's given you a description of what is assessment, why do we assess, and then on the next slide, you're going to see how it's broken down for you into the different types of assessments. So this is what each assessment type will look like, and this is just a snapshot of the formative assessment um, section of the parent guide. 
And then as always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to either of us. Missy and I are happy to clarify or address any wonderings you have along the way. And remember, you can access this module um, if you go to kystandards.org under the professional, um, professional learning modules. Thank you for joining us today.